we are looking forward to a very exciting afternoon at Loftus Fairsfeld as we find the identity of the team that takes on Al Ahli in the final next month. The rest, uh, 21 wins in 31 games. We are underway here in Pretoria. And Mamalodi Sundowns attacking the goal to the right. Widad in the all red and Peter Shalolile leading from the front almost immediately. A little bit of a chess game. Nkulisa now onto the edge of the area. Over the top. Ball finds Zwane. Back to goal. Cut inside and now a shot coming in from Mukwena who packs some pace into his uh, shots usually. El Muti with an excellent stop. Yeah, look at Timbers one in that box, protecting the ball, waiting for that run from Mukwena. Unfortunately, there he can using his instep foot became an easy save there from El Moti in that first ball. I think when he looks at it again, he probably would have liked a little elevation or point. But with five games still to go, Yazem Kulise, that was a nice little combination. Now into the danger zone, and the goalkeeper is beginning to earn his. Because you want to use your body, and you end up seeing your arm going on through somebody else's face. That's how you get a yellow card. But that's an idea chance there from Mukulisi. But also good defence there from Jabran. Forcing Mukulisi to go to his weaker foot to the left-hand side. Not allowing him to come inside knowing that that's way Mamdouli Sundown is actually dangerous. Substantive on the field. Now Butuil could be in a bit of trouble here. This is the pace of Unajem. Gets the shot in. The save by Ronwin Williams. That's a bit of a lucky let-off. It is indeed. I mean... Feeling a little frustrated about their lack of chances over the top of the defender. Now, look at the speed there, but also with owner job. I don't think he was totally in control of the ball because it was wobbly there with the pitch. It also helped now, um, Butuel to be able to there and recover. We could see the disappointment from the players because they thought they had an opportunity there with that one long ball. But now they have to get to the final though. Work out from Kulise now into the middle. He has a chance for Shalolile. Saved oh. by the keeper. That's an excellent stop. Left footed shot from Shalolile. And Muti to the rescue. Indeed, excellent stop there. But good interplay from Mamrudi Sundown. So with Mudiba just playing across there. Peter Shalolile. Perfect combination, perfect connection rather with his left foot using the right technique. But what a great save there for El Moti. And Atia Ala was taking no chances. That went into row Z right at the back <laughs> behind his goal. Clearance over on that left-hand side. <laughs> now he finally gets it. In for Shalolile. Oh, he's miscued it. And the flag stayed down. To be at the end of that ball. Finally, Mukwena gets the ball on the left-hand side. Look at the run there. Onside. Yep. Very clever there from Muk from Morena, but Pile Shalili, that first touch, they didn't allow him to actually go just on, on a different side of the goalkeeper there. That's why he couldn't even connect with it very well on the left-hand side, but you'd want Pile Shalili to get into those, but it is a let-off for him. Credit to the keeper as well, uh, Yusuf El Mun under the pitch. Mukwena, a bit of elevation this time, over the top. So, first one was on target, not enough power, this one uh, off target. Yeah, we've seen him with his quality over the years how good he is with the free kick, but they so much height. I guess he wanted more spin just over the top of, the, uh, of that, uh, that wall. That's on Yango in goal on that occasion. He's the backup goalkeeper today in Tembazwani. Came on as a sub. He's in the lineup for today's game. Chance at the back post for Modiba. Just taken away at the vital moment by uh, Amlut. Good defensive work there from Amlud. He's forced to defend a little bit different today's game. At times, he's a very aggressive player going forward. But look at Mukwena with time and space. Good delivery there to try and find Mudiba in the last post. Now Mudiba. He goes out to Mkulise. Ball back in again, an inviting one. A little touch from Tembazwane straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Continues again in the second half to put, to put himself in the right positions at times to be able to save that Mamlodi Sundowns with the second ball there, being able to come back in and play. Mkolisi looking for Tembazwane in that box, not enough power there from him. Now a goal! Mamlodi Sundowns! And Zwane breaks the deadlock! 
The Brazilians take the lead here and move closer to the Champions League final. Servant of the club, the captain today, could he be the hero too? Muti threw it out, the mistake, and Zwane needed no second imitation. Goalkeeper was backpedaling as well. He was after Jari lost the ball there. Too many defensive error, which is very unlikely there for Widdard, but Temba Zwane putting himself in that great position, being away with a little bit of a curler there. El Muti wouldn't, unable to save that ball. What a great goal there from Temba Zwane. Well, it's the old press that uh, produces for Mamalodi Sundar. Sundar's the one, a second goal, an insurance goal in these uh, match. And Mbude goes for goal, and he puts it over the top. Mm, mm, mm. Good play there from Mamalodi Sundance, but I thought with Sipo Mbule on the right-hand side, Mudau was on. But you could see with this control, he had only one thing in his mind, to have that shot and goal, but nice interplay there from Mudiba. Just on this angle as well, there, there's Mudao on the right hand side. You could still play him on, and because you've got enough numbers inside the box, but nonetheless, he's. Kulise driving through the middle, gets it out wide. This is uh, Mudao, shot a lead, turn, save from the keeper. It miscued. No, he's going to go for goal, and he's got to learn to get those on target. Yeah. Look, Temba Zwani continues to pull the strings in that midfield. They find space as well on the right hand side with uh, Mudau. Charlili there with the 10. That's what he needs to bring back that confidence. Also for Royal Armed Forces in Morocco. Chance for Sambo! The header from the Senegalese is off target. Mm. He's got seven in this Champions League. He's a danger man. He is a danger man indeed, but the delivery as well from Atiyad Allah. Bringing that one in. I think he's slightly offside as well. But yet again, he is very dangerous, he really makes things very difficult for Mamiri Sundowns at the back. Another wonderful challenge from Aquino, what good tackling he's provided. Now chance for Mutajem, big save from Williams, the follow-up from Haimudi, corner. Sundowns hanging on here, but they're under pressure. Since scoring that goal, it's been weeded all the way. Mm. It is weeded all the way. They put in so much pressure. Yet another game, another chance for weeded. But to look at Williams there, making himself big, making sure that he, he covered that first pole with a great save. And also, Madau and uh, Mbule, they putting their bodies on the line to make sure that uh, that second ball becomes a corner kick. Big save from Williams, low down on his left hand side. Very difficult one. He celebrates. This is the uh, fifth year in a row that we don't have been in the semi-final, so lots of experience here. They know how to play these pressure games, and they scored! Header at the near post, back of the net. And what an entree here. And we don't now are in the driving seat as far as the Champions League final is concerned. They will now go into their shell, that's for sure. That's for sure indeed. I mean, they've been knocking on the door in the second half ever since Mamadou Sundown scored. They've been winning fouls in advanced areas. We spoke about how dangerous they are in the set pieces. And uh, Amlud on this right-hand side has been bombing up and down Teko. He's been a threat. That is a superb... Yes, Morena. Charge at the pass! Goal! Shalalile! It evaded the defenders. The goalkeeper of Casablanca says maybe there was a handball on the way there. That's what he's claiming. And none more important than this one. Indeed, it's been a man that has been quiet in his first half, having two opportunities. And in the second half, a little bit more patient. Mbule there fighting for that ball out wide to Tapela Morena, playing that first time, but also Temba Zwane leaving the ball, knowing that there are players just behind him. Shalili with his left foot, making sure that uh, he hits the back of the net, giving that Mamluri Sundowns lead that they need. Shalolile tracking it away. Jabran's effort to try and keep it from going was fruitless. And there is the celebration for the goal machine from Katatura.
towards Rodman Williams. They've got another one. Sundown's done again at a set piece. Jabran, the goal scorer. Eight minutes to go. We that right back in it. Now, was that an own goal? It looks like it. It looks like Mvala being the first, last player to be able to touch that ball. Another in-swinging ball in there. Mvala looks to put it in the back of his own net. Yeah, what a horror touch there from the big centre-back. He knew it as well. As soon as it left his head, Williams with no chance. The goalkeeper hesitated, came out, came out, then stayed on his line. The own goal from Homer Quena. There's the little signal. Here it comes. Moquena into the danger zone. And the header is from Mvala is over the top. Goal kick it'll be. We'd had players sprawled all over the pitch now. Final whistle. We had Casablanca are through to the final. The away goal rules makes the difference here. It's a silent.